everyone. Here we have a quick demo of the Python-based autopilot. You'll notice on the left-hand side of the screen that we've got the X-Plane 10 flight simulator. And on the right-hand side here, we see the Python graphical interface, which is enunciating state data of what the autopilot system is currently doing. Just as a quick walkthrough of what you see in the graphical interface here, on the middle left, we have the pilot input versus autopilot control signals. Green represents what the autopilot is currently instructing, whereas the red signal, and I'm moving the joystick here to demonstrate this, the red symbols are the motion of the user input going into the system. Up here in the middle we have autopilot control, where we can set uh, altitude preselect, vertical speed, uh, airspeed, as well as the mode that we want to set it in. We have the, the ability to individually enable control axes. And then in the inner loop section, we'll see the current status of longitudinal control and lateral, which is currently not implemented. Lastly, on the right hand side here, we'll see individual comms data that shows the values of parameters coming off the flight simulator. So, to get us set up, I'm going to set the altitude to an altitude pre select of 5,000 feet. Uh, we'll set vertical speed just to start off reasonably slow at 1,500 and airspeed of 180. Note that this currently is not implement is not currently enabled yet. We're still on the ground. It won't be enabled until these checkboxes become highlighted. So to get us started, flip back here to auto to X plane. We'll throttle it full, release the parking brake, and start accelerating down the runway. So to get I'm gonna start off initially by hand flying this get us up to about maybe 500 feet AGL and then I will enable the autopilot and start demonstrating that capability. So this is about V1, we'll rotate, pitch up, gears and transition up. Got the airspeed coming up at about 150 knots currently and we're about 800 feet AGL so I'm going to go ahead and enable the autopilot. I'm letting go of the yoke, clicking the filch button notice here as the green highlight comes in here that the throttle is currently adjusting. It's establishing the airspeed. You can see it already has captured 180 knots. And we've got the vertical speed coming in right about where we want. You'll see about 1400 for currently indicated. And it's tracking its climb out rather nicely. So again I set the altitude pre-select to about 5000 feet, climbing 1500 feet per minute. As you can tell, based on the command versus status, it's holding that reasonably accurately. Now as it's climbing, I have the ability to adjust it in flight, so I can go set this from 1500 feet per minute to 2500. Filch enable. There you can hear the throttle up. It's pitching up just a little bit, but it's going to maintain that airspeed. But you can already tell that commanded vertical speed is 2500 and we're achieving about 2400 right now. So we're climbing up passing 3000 for 5000. Let's set the airspeed to 220 knots to further accelerate that during the climb up. So I'll keep, keep tracking that, that vertical speed that was selected but now it's going to accelerate along that path to go to a, a new 220 knots airspeed. Here we are at 4,000 for 5,000. And we have a couple seconds here at probably about 4,700 feet. It's going to start to decelerate on its vertical speed while maintaining constant airspeed in order to not overshoot when it hits the uh, target altitude. So there's 4800, you can see it not climb nearly as fast anymore. There's 4940. And it's just about to pop up ever so slightly to perfectly intercept the uh, target altitude. So we 
at about 20 feet overshoot on the target altitude. Airspeed's about two, two knots high, so that has pretty darn good performance there. And while I'm at this captured altitude, I can decelerate down to, say, 180 knots and hit the altitude hold button. It's going to hang on to the altitude. You see we saw an undershoot of about 30 feet. But you can see the airspeed totally dropping off now. So there's 192 knots, 187, 186, 185. There we go, we've hit 180 and we're still level at 4,991 feet, so it's 8 feet of air, which is better than I can fly. There we go, we've demonstrated that the Python based autopilot system is able to establish a climb out, hold airspeed as part of an auto throttle type capability, and also climb to and capture altitude, demonstrating the current functionality of the system.